We're going to paint some faces on my dolls. Here is one face. Actually, we're going to paint lips right this moment. All right, all I'm using is this Apple Barrel brand uh, matte acrylic paint. It's quick drying, easy cleanup. It's made by Plaid, and I'm using the 20501E bright red color. Let's see if I can't focus uh, real quick. I also found this pack of paint brushes. There are four. I have one in my hand. Um, these were at Walmart. They were pretty inexpensive, um, but they're nicer than the um, like Dollar Tree ones. So <clears throat> I have the thin brush in my hand. And let's get some paint on there. All right, make sure you have your doll facing forward, remember? In the other videos, I showed you how to sew your arms on. This is the back, so you don't want any lips on the back of the head. I kind of paint mine down in a V, almost like a heart. Obviously, you can make your lips on your doll in any way you would like. I found for my dolls in the style and brand that I like, um, I kind of like to hide hearts throughout my work. And I'm sure you'll see that in the quilts that I make. I'll eventually show you those. Let's do another set of lips. They almost remind me of uh, Lucille Ball and my baby sister. Victoria loved Lucille Ball growing up, and it's so funny because Victoria wasn't even born until like 1990 or 91, so Lucille Ball was way before her time. Anyways, um, all right, here's the last doll that I've constructed. Now I will be using this red color throughout my primitive crafting and I will show you some more crafts later on what I'm using it for. I can't remember how I got started painting on Osnaberg fabric. I just, I saw it, I loved it, I tried it, I failed numerous times and now I actually like it. and. I think it um, is a favorite of mine. I really enjoy the mixed media type of crafts. And once our family stops traveling so much, I think my craft studio is going to even have some woodworking tools <laughs> in it and buckets of rusty bells and rusty um, safety pins and all just all kinds of fun things. and. Uh, well, I think it's cute, and when that dries, I will paint some more of the face. As always, it's Stephanie Grahams at MySewingNeedle.com.